Hey guys, guys of the Magic back again, and it's time for part two of our new modern video um, featuring all the Rebellion cards. Uh, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all the cards in Rebellion, the core and reward. Um, we'll also do promo, but we'll do that a little bit later. I um, want to show you guys um, just splinter by splinter what we're looking at as far as we know now for the new modern. Now, of course, when Conclave Arcana comes out, that's going to be added to this pool of cards that you'll be able to use. But I think it's a good time now to just kind of look at all the cards and just kind of see where we stand, uh, see what splinters are strong, which ones are weak, um, which ones are good at ranged, magic, all that, uh, what kind of gaps there are in the different splinters, and what uh, type of ca cards we hope to see when Conclave Arcana comes out. So we're not going to look at summoners. We're just going to look at the basic units. Um, you guys pretty much know what the summoners are. Um, just to recap, so you've got your common summoners that don't give any tactics, but they are dual splinter. You've got your rare uh, summoners that are single splinter, uh, do give tactics but they don't give any buffs to like your entire team. You can only pick, you know, a couple of cards that you want to give buffs to. And then you have your legendary summoners that for the most part um, are dual splinters, um, will give uh, buffs to your entire team, and then will give additional buffs to a couple other characters on your team. So just real quick, those are your summoners, but we are going to focus on uh, the units. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through splinter by splinter, so let's start with fire. So these are all the fire cards that will be available in modern. So altogether, you've got 19 cards. So let's go ahead and break these down by attack type. So for melee, okay, one of the first things you want to do is like, okay, so who's going to be my tank? What kind of tanks am I going to have uh, for fire? So looking at this real quick, dry bone hobgoblin is going to be your reach. So he's going to be your... Uh, second position fighter, Little League has immunity, so decent for what he is for a common card. Uh, Chaos Orc, so looking at his stats, starts off with Piercing, so he looks like he could be um, a tank. Let's go ahead and check his stats. So one of the things I want to look at is just kind of like Max Silver. Uh, that's where I play, and I think a lot of people going forward, they're not going to max out Rebellion if they haven't yet. So I'm thinking that if you can get... Level 5 commons, level 4 rares, you've got a pretty good basis for uh, a Rebellion deck going forward. You'll probably be ahead of the curve of most people. So looking at him, level 5 common, he does pick up Trample. So now he becomes a much more attractive tank. Um, you can say kind of low hit point 6, but as we go through, you'll see that cards in Rebellion aren't as uh, overpowered as uh, Chaos Legion. So you're not going to have to worry about uh, huge amounts of magic damage, and we'll go through that later. So if you've got a tank that's got six, seven, eight hit points, that is a pretty good uh, tank in Rebellion. So overall, the stats are pretty good. Decent speed, you know, three attack with the piercing and trample, so not too bad there. And remember, he is a common card, so can't expect a whole lot. Then you've got the soldier. So he's got kind of your double sneak. You know, he's got that ambush and then sneak on top of it. Three mana, so decent. Torch Vizier, uh, this is your opportunity card. So this one is a rare, so you can get this up to level 4 for max silver. It'll gain Reflection Shield. Um, at level 2 it gains that third attack, so now it's looking a lot better. Let's check out the Soldier real quick to see what he gets. So level 5, which is uh, max silver, since he's a common, he picks up Shatter. Now the thing to remember is this Shatter is going to hit the back line, not the front line, because he's doing Sneak. So I don't know if Shatter's going to be as important um, attacking the back line, but, you know, it's always a nice ability to have. Uh, Dry Bone Megalodon. This is interesting with the flank, but this card becomes much more powerful um, once you realize who this thing should be paired with. So let's go to stats. So this one is a rare. So once you get it to level 4 for max silver, he picks up Retaliate. So now you've got four damage, you've got retaliate, you've got decent health and armor, so this is a very solid tank. Get to the legendary cards, you have Chaos Golem. Uh, one of the things I want to point out with Chaos Golem, um, it's above, so level two is max silver. Level three, if you're going to go the gold route, he picks up uh, retaliate. 
This is the only card in Modern that has Enrage and Retaliate. So Retaliate is not a very uh, common ability moving forward in um, Rebellion, and he is the only one that has both of those abilities together. And then finally, Surly Drunk, which is the uh, legendary reward card that you can pick up now. All he gets is opportunity. If you can get him maxed, of course, he gets that two opportunity for one damage. But, you know, even just getting him to level one, just having a single copy, he's a very nice filler card to be able uh, to do opportunity for just one. Anytime you can get a one mana cost card, you know, it's very important to pick it up. So overall, looking at the melee cards, very strong. They kind of cover everything. You've got, you know, decent tanks, you've got um, some sneak ability, you've got opportunity cards, you've got a reach monster for second position, so fire is very well rounded for melee. So now if we look at ranged, so you can see these are your ranged cards here, I'll let the graphics load. Okay, so you're starting off with um, several of the cards at two damage or above. Uh, let's look at, and these are all, as you can see, rare, epic, and legendary. So there's no common ranged cards uh, for fire. So the demon doesn't quite hit Little League. You know, he costs five, but he's doing two scatter shot right off the bat. Really don't need to get him to level four, you know, unless you want more um, hit points. At least get him to level two to get the true strike. So don't worry about getting him to max silver. You know, five copies will do for him. Uh, the Flame Mephit, you want to get this card to level 3 uh, to get that second damage, and this is very nice. So level 3, you're doing 2 damage, 2 speed, 3 health, and flying for only 2. There aren't a ton of cards with flying, so if you're worried about the Earthquake rule set, this is a very nice uh, cheap card to pick up and put in your deck. Torch Mirror, Myrmidon, uh, this one is great for archery only. Uh, once again, flank, so you could put somebody behind him. Hmm, let's see, who could be in the second position that could help him out that normally can't attack from the second position? I'll let you guys think on that, but I think I, I think you guys know where I'm going with that one. Uh, but anyway, very good um, tank, especially in archery only. So if you get him, you don't really need to get him to level 4, just get him to level 2 to pick up that second damage. Uh, Iron Hood, this card is must-have, just get one of them just to get the weapons training. Uh, so he's an epic, so max silver would be level 3. If immunity is important to you, if you're really worried about poison rule set, you can go that route. But otherwise, just get a single copy. You know, you don't have to buy 9 more copies just to get immunity. You know, just get the single copy to get that weapons training. Uh, the Conjurer, as we all know... Um, great card, kind of dangerous, you know, with the incendiary ability, but in back to basics rule set, this thing is a killer. Uh, if you can get it up to level three for max silver, you get piercing as well. So, and this is a card that's free, you know, we can do, we can get it right now just by playing and earning the land. So that's one of the nice things. Uh, Rush. So high mana cost, but look at that damage with ambush and affliction. So at level 2, he gains, look at this, he gains an additional attack, an additional speed, and an additional armor. So one copy is nice. If you can afford two more copies, that is very good. And just to let you guys know, if you um, didn't see part 1, uh, Force Field, as of now, is gone in the new modern. So you're not going to have to worry about, oh, he's doing 5 damage, what if he hits Force Field? Unless they come out with something in Arcane Arcana with Force Field, you're not going to have to worry about it. So overall, I would say, you know, decent amount of uh, range damage for fire. Um, kind of thinks that they don't have a common uh, range damage. These are all rare and above. Uh, nice mix of mana. You know, you've got some that are cheaper. You've got even and odd um, mana cost, so that's good. So now let's go and check out Magic. So magic, you can see, is a little bit light, um, especially if you're going to be focusing on not spending a lot of money and just common and rares. But the common and rares they do have are very, very good. As you can see, these two fit in Little League. You know, they're even um, four, ma or four mana, only do one magic damage. But let's take a look at them. 
So if you can get this one, uh, this one you really only need one copy of. I mean, if you want to get that armor, you can go for level three. But for what it is, just get one copy of it. Uh, the Seer, want to get to level three just to get phase. Um, not like this card's going to be in the front, but if you've got a magic-only rule set, you decide to throw him in, phase is going to be very nice. And then the Evoker, I really like this card with the Blast. And you definitely want to get this card, since it is a common, get this card to level five. Get that Ambush. Because you're going to attack before the battle, do two magic damage, blast, hit the you know second position, and then you're going to do it again. Decent speed with three, so you might get lucky and get your ambush off and your regular attack off before the other team can do anything. So don't overlook the evoker. Definitely get that to level five. That's one that we can work on right now. Most of you guys probably already have this common at level five anyway. <coughs> okay, the Firestorm, epic card. Huge, another one great for, you know, magic only. Um, if you can get this to level 3, which is max silver, it does pick up that extra uh, magic damage. But once again, if price is a concern, don't worry about it. Um, a lot of these cards, you just want to get a single copy. Ember Guard, this is the legendary reward card. So level 2, he gets Reflection Shield, so he won't take damage from Blast if that's something that you're worried about. So seven mana, two, yeah, he's a decent little, maybe, you know, a secondary tank. Or like I said, in Magic Only rule sets, he's got a good amount of health. So overall, I would say Fire's pretty decent. It seems like they are the strongest in melee and not too um, underpowered, I would say, in ranged or magic. So then the final category we want to look at is no attack. These cards are all key in all the splinters. And the reason why is most of them at level 5, which is max silver, pick up a second ability. So now if you can get the scout, get it to level 5, you now give all your units plus 1 melee attack. And just so you guys know, all the summoners that we are so used to that would give plus 1 melee or plus 1 ranged to your entire team, those are gone. So now what you have to depend on is you have to depend on... Um, abilities like this to help your entire team. So don't overlook the uh, the power of Inspire and the power of this little two mana card. So these are definitely cards that you're going to want to get to level five. Nice thing is they're common, so they're not super expensive, but it does take 60 copies to get it there. Okay, so that is no attack. So that's pretty much it for fire. So like I said, overall, I would say fire is pretty decent. Um, let's go next to, let's go to death. So this was my favorite splinter. So how does it compare now? And you can see it has 18 cards as opposed to 19. So how does death go for melee? Well, if you're looking at melee, so you see the haunt, he's your little sneak guy. You've got the thug, another opportunity, kind of another, you know, sneaker. Same thing with uh, Griffsy, you know, the legendary card. So you've got Decent Sneak right here. You've got an Opportunity card with the Jailer, who has Opportunity and Ambush. Okay. But look at, look at your main tanks. Your main tank choices are the Brave and Executioner Kron. Um, the Wraith is obviously your, your Reach, your second uh, position fighter. So it looks, um, just at first glance, like Death is kind of lacking in melee. So let's take a look, beginning with the sneak guys, see how they stack up. So he is a common, so at level 5 he will get Void. Uh, don't overlook Void. Void is going to be huge when you're going to deal with uh, teams that are probably going to rely on Moxie and Rebel, um, where it's going to add one magic damage um, to a couple of non-attack cards on either side of it. With this Void, you won't take any damage from it if he's only doing one magic damage. So Void is a very nice ability to have, but of course this card's probably not going to be towards the front of your deck, but if for some reason he ends up in the front and he's playing just magic, you're going to be fine. But overall, nice little guy. Sneak, good speed, three um, melee, or three casting cost is not bad, so decent card. So that's the Haunt. Let's look at the Earth Thug. So this is a reward card that we can earn right now. 
So level four gets cripple opportunity. If you get it to level five, max it out. It does pick up one point of armor that could be very, very useful for keeping this alive. So I would say definitely get it to level four um, to get that cripple. And if you can get another 30 copies of it and get that extra armor, you'll be sitting pretty well. And of course, this is a card we can earn right now. So you should have no trouble getting this card to level five. Like I said, most of you guys probably already have your comments to five. But in case there's newer viewers or people with lower level accounts, this does give you a target to shoot for. Okay, so let's look at the Brave. So he has immunity, which is nice. Um, six mana cost, so a little bit pricey. But I mean, it's a tank, so your tanks are going to be up there in price. Doesn't do any damage. You know, only one attack, two speed. Does have a decent amount of armor and health. So how does he do? So if you can get him to max silver, um, he does pick up silence. But like I said earlier, there's no obsidian here. So there's no summoner you're going to come up against that's going to buff the entire team with plus one magic. So silence is nice, but it may not be um, as useful as you know it would be if you were still going up against Chaos Legion cards. But still decent. Um, if, if we were looking at um, like champion level decks, if you can get this guy all the way maxed out, you know, now he becomes a little bit more attractive. But as far as just getting to silver level goes, you know, he's not very good tank. At least damage dealing wise. Okay, Chaos Jailer. This is probably one of the main cards in the set that I'm really going to target. This guy is awesome. You know, at max silver, he's not doing a lot of damage. But he's one of the, I think, two or three cards that have poison. So there's not a lot of poison in Modern. Um, he's got Ambush, so he's going to attack right off the bat, have a chance to do poison. Then when the battle begins, opportunity, you know, he's going to poison, you know, again. So if it didn't stick on the Ambush, it may stick on his next attack. So odds are he's going to poison you. If you can get him um, to level 5, if you start going in gold and above, now he picks up slow. So now even more chance of him, you know, getting his um, opportunity in before, you know, your opponent. You know, he does have the one point of armor at level four. Um, so I think if you're going to get this guy to max silver, you definitely want to get him to four just to get that one armor that might, you know, save him a hit and keep him alive a little bit longer. Um, if you can't afford 25 copies of him, then I would say just at least get five so that he does pick up that poison. Okay, Wailing Wraith. So this is nice little league card. So you've got four mana or four. Four mana cost, you know, stats are pretty low, but he does attack from the second position and he does get an additional um, attack because of his armor. Get him to level four, max silver. Now he picks up affliction. Um, so the target is unable to be healed. So whatever he hits will hopefully get that affliction. Um, there's not a ton of healing um, in Rebellion. You know, you still do have two or three healers. Um, but, you know, so Affliction may not be as big as it was in the past, but still a nice ability to have. Definitely want to get this guy at least a level 3 for that second um, attack. But, you know, overall you want to get him to 4 to get the Affliction. But if you're not too concerned about going up against healing teams, then just get him to level 3. Um, Executioner Kron. So this guy looks like he is another choice for your main tank. Very low um, hit points at 5. You know, good damage right off the bat. Nice armor. What does he pick up? So he is an epic. So level three would be max silver. So he gains uh, weaken. So he's still doing three. Um, still two speed. You know, five armor is good, but still his health is, is kind of low. But he does have void armor. So if he is going to get hit, you know, with magic, now you're looking at he's got 11 health. So that makes it a little bit better. Um, not overall great, but you know, decent. I mean, this is what you have to work with. And then finally, Grip C, you know, is your little sneaker. So if you get him maxed out, of course, he'll do two damage uh, sneak. But for the sake of this video, we're just looking at silver. You know, if you have one copy, that's good enough just to have him in your team. So, you know, second copy or getting him to level two just gives you another health. So the main thing is if you can just somehow get a copy and get lucky in a rewards chest, you will be better off. Okay, so melee wise, um, very weak as far as having a main tank. You know, he's got, you know, you've got at least one reach monster, so at least that's covered. 
um, but you have great sneak opportunity. So opportunity sneak teams, death is doing very, very well with that, but overall it's missing a main tank. Looking at ranged, look at this, not hardly any ranged at all for death. You've got four, that's it, no legendary ranged. So you've got the drudge, he does have true, two, uh, true strike and two damage right off the bat, so that is nice. Um, max silver, you're just gaining a little bit more speed and hit points, so if you only want one copy, that is fine. The hunter, interesting because here is another sneak card. So it's one of the very rare cards that has sneak and is not melee. If you can get him to level four, look at this, you could get another silence. So it's very possible you could be playing death with a double silence at silver level. Um, attack does not go up, speed goes up one, health goes up one. Okay, so if you are not interested in that silence, then just simply pick up a copy and you'll be good. Um, maybe get him to level two to get one more speed. So not, not necessary to get him max silver, but if you can, if you really want to have a couple cards with silence in your arsenal, you know, it's definitely a possibility for death. Uh, the slinger, the reward card that we can currently get. So at level 4 max silver, he picks up that slow. Impede is nice because every time he hits, he's going to reduce their speed by 1. And very good attack. Get him at level 3 and you're doing uh, 4 damage. This is a card you guys are earning right now, so hopefully you can get him to level 4. And then finally, what is this thing? Av Avarisidious? However you pronounce it. So Little League. Um, scatter shot, but look at this double strike. I think there was only two or three cards with double strike. So gone are the days of the double strike. Um, things doing three and four melee damage. You know, Grund is gone. Coastal Sentry is gone. Your double strike now, I think, are basically ranged and they're very low damage. So until you get this thing maxed out, you know, then you're going to hit for four. You know, two and two. But for the sake of this video, okay, so at max silver, he's getting two more speed, two more health. Um, decent for what it is. It's just, you know, it's not reliable having that scatter shot. But, and there's not a lot of taunts for you to worry about in Rebellion. So, I mean, it's a card to have in your arsenal, but actually not that great. So I would say death is very weak on ranged. Um, the slinger is nice. It's nice to have, you know, a sneak. But if you're looking just to do archery damage to the front that's reliable, the drudge is the only one. You know, maybe the slinger. So, very weak on ranged. And then for magic, well, now we get to my favorite card, which you guys know if you've been watching my channel, is the Weaver. This card is must-have in modern. This card wins so many games because of that corrupted healing. Max Silver, if you can get uh, level 3 and get that Scavenger, his only real weakness is when he does Corrupted Healing, he does not heal himself. Scavenger takes care of that. So if you get this thing to level 3, you are going to win many, many games with that card. Uh, the Demon is one of, I believe, two cards other than the reward cards that have Taunt. So there's not much Taunt in Rebellion going forward. So... Definitely a card that you want to have in your arsenal. If you can get it to level 3, you pick up Corrosive Ward. So this, I mean, it's expensive. It's 10. There is no Giant Killer. You don't have to worry about that. Um, he can be your tank. Great and magic only. Um, he doesn't pick up that third magic damage until gold. So, you know, if you can just get... What, three copies if you want to get Corrosive Ward. If not, just have a single copy of him. Uh, Dark Arborist, another reward card that we're earning right now. I love this card um, at max silver because for four, ma for four mana, you're doing two magic damage. Demoralize has won me a lot of games, so being able to uh, knock the opponent's melee down by one, that is huge. And then Magic Reflect, so if you're in that magic-only rule set where Demoralize doesn't really do anything for you, Magic Reflect will. So very, very nice card. Uh, like I said, you guys are earning this now. Hopefully you already have it at level 4 at least. We already went over the Weaver. So Demise, Demise, Arkan Faust. Legendary card. 
So if you get this to max silver, you're picking up an armor, which could really help its survivability. Um, lookout, nice to have. Flying is great to have. Like I said, there's not a whole, whole lot of cards with flying, so that protects it from earthquake. Uh, two magic damage is nice right off the bat, even if you have a single copy. So decent magic card. And then this guy is an absolute beast. Five magic damage. Okay, 13 mana. So when you can use him, great. Five magic damage. Um, he picks up Weaken at level two and um, Fury. So he's going to do double damage against Taunt. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of Taunt. So he's not going to be doing double damage, but just dropping five bombs is going to be huge. Because remember, there's no uh, Thaddeus Brood. So you're not going to worry about this getting knocked down from five to four. So magic-wise, I would say Death is very solid. Has a nice range of high mana and low mana. Uh, cards um, and like I said just the weaver alone makes death very strong in magic and then finally let's look at the no attack cards so death is the only splinter I think that has two no attack cards so you've got the chaos animator which I'm cur currently using now using this in wild because I'm pairing the amplify with the curse uh, when to go um, to get that extra thorns damage, but once again, if you can get any cards with void, that is really going to be huge to protect yourself from Moxie and Rebel. So you want to get this card at least to level 3. It is a common, you can get it to level 5, um, just to gain another speed, which really isn't that important. Uh, one more health, so at least get it to level 3 and you'll be good. And then the Botanist... You want to get this. Um, I think most of the other two mana cost cards you have to get to level five to get that second ability, but with the botanist, you only need it to get to level four to pick up the blind. So makes it a little bit more affordable. Um, you don't have to get it to level five unless you want, you know, that one extra speed. So yeah, buying 30 copies over 60 is gonna, you know, save you a little bit of money. So definitely just get this to level four to pick up that blind ability. So overall for death, I would say death is um, the weakest of the two so far. Um, magic wise, it's pretty okay. Melee wise, it's got you know good sneak and opportunity, but it's weak and ranged and weak as having uh, a good main tank. Okay, so water. Here are your water cards. You've got 19 of these to pick from, starting with melee. And you guys know water is very strong in melee. Um, you guys know Commander Slade. You know how good this card is. Max Silver, you pick up Reflection Shield. So you've got five speed with dodge. This thing's hard to hit. When he does hit the opponent's tank, it enfeebles it. Just huge hit points and, and armor. You know how good this card is. But do you also know how good the skink is? So if for some reason you don't want to spend 10 mana for your tank, you're not losing much by getting this guy to level 5 and spending 8. Um, it has shield, so he's going to be taking less damage. There's not going to be a lot of huge magic bombs coming your way, but if there are, you've got phase, which is so crucial, so maybe you won't even get hit um, with a magic attack. And having that 4 speed means you, know, you might dodge a couple magic attacks there, so definitely get this card to 5. So you've got two great high mana tanks there. Um, another main tank might be the Sea Dog of Eight. So this one is great because it is seven mana. So if you look at the other two at eight and eight and ten, what happens if you come to an odd rule set? Well, if you've got an odds only rule set, you throw in uh, Sea Dog of Eight. He's a rare. So at level four, he picks up a self heal. So now you've got okay. He doesn't have shield, but he's healing himself, and he's got corrosive ward. Um, decent damage. So you have very, very good choices with water as far as a main tank. It does have its one reach monster, uh, Pirate of Eight, which is the only card I believe that has a blast as well. Um, you want to get this to level three to get that second damage. Level four, just one more health. So at least get it to level three. Um, your Little League tank, Chaos Rearguard, I've come up against this recently, so there are some people playing this. And don't be deceived by the low um, attack and hit points. This thing is an awesome blocker. So even though it only has, you know, one armor and four health, that shield just makes it so annoying. 
especially if your opponent is also demoralizing you so you're doing less damage you know it's going to take you a few hits to get through this thing and by that time the rest of his team is wrecking you so if you get this one to um max silver you go from one armor to four and then from two health to six so it just depends on how much you're willing to spend on this card how much you think you're going to use it if you can get it to max silver i would recommend it because this is going to be very annoying to get through for your opponent so so far the tanks look great um captain fellblade so far it's the only sneak card but having that double attack is very nice if you get it to max silver you also pick up a strengthen which that never hurts very good speed with sneak so you guys know how good captain fellblade is and then finally you got the monkey the gibbon who is another reach monster so he just does one uh melee damage if you get a max silver um the only weakness i see for melee is there's no sneak other than captain fellblade and there's no opportunity so you don't have like a deep lurker clone uh, going forward for water so overall i would say water is very very strong as far as main tank um probably has the best reach monster so far because this one is blast but is weak as far as um putting together a sneaker opportunity team now we get to where water really shines is ranged two magic damage across the board and this is to start and you've got odds three and fives you've got evens fours and sixes so you've got even and odd covered um, as far as like little league goes so sultry barmaid you want to get this to level three because it will pick up as soon as the graphics load it will pick up stun so there's not a lot of stun in modern so this is very nice to have so you're going to do ambush so you're going to attack maybe stun it then you're going to attack round one if your stun didn't land the first time it might the second time so very good card um, two range damage the trader which we're earning right now you want to get to level four for headwinds so that is crucial but still two range for three is very nice the seeker he is a common get him to level five you can get another thing with phase where for some reason you're afraid of him getting hit with a uh, random uh, magic attack he has a chance to miss four speed and dodge very nice plus he has snipe razor hound so max silver he picks up true strike picks up a strengthen he's got a point of armor if this thing was a four this thing would be a five star uh, little league card so it's a shame that it's five and not four but yeah even five is not bad for the kit on this card very good card uh, brune so once again great tank so if you've got ranged only throw this guy in the front even if he can't attack he's going to be a great tank um, picks up a silence which is interesting so another card that has silence if you get to gold then of course you've got headwinds maxed out you get swiftness so overall great card but like i said if we're just concentrating on silver and below you know great card to have even at a single copy if you're not worried about silence and then finally the sergeant has blast so opportunity and blast yes please so six mana of course this is a legendary reward card if you guys are lucky enough to get one congratulations this is a fantastic card um, as you saw there's not a lot of opportunity cards that we've seen so far and just to have that combination of opportunity and blast at silver level is fantastic and then let's just throw an immunity to boot to make it even better so overall i would say that um, water is very very strong and just remember who the summoner is so let's look at summoner so your summoner i know you guys know but we're going to look at it is prophet rosa and prophet rosa gives plus two range to two units so you've got an awesome awesome range team possibility with water because even at level one these things are going to be doing four points of damage so yep so right now water is king for ranged how does it do in magic 
So now Magic, looking at this, of course, Shock Trooper, we all know, is awesome in Back to Basics. Uh, Soothsayer is your new tank, or no, new tank, is your new healer and your new uh, cleanse, and throw in Lookout. So this card is going to be in the back, towards the back anyway, so now you throw in Lookout. So now if you are worried about Sneaker Opportunity, you'll take a little bit less damage. So fantastic card. You know, you want to get this card to level four, but this card's going to be, I think it already is a dollar more per BCX right now. So you want to get at least to level two to get the heal. If you can afford to get it to level four, that's great. We all know um, Shock Trooper already. Uh, one card you may not be aware of is the Magus. You may look at it and say, ah, one magic damage for three. It's not that big of a deal. But if you get it to level four, Max Silver, it picks up Bloodlust. I believe this might be the only card that has uh, Bloodlust in Modern. Um, I'll have to look and check to see, but I think this was the only one. Um, but the thing is, even though it has Bloodlust and that's awesome, the thing that kind of hurts it is the scatter shot. So you're going to have to randomly hit something and hopefully kill it to get the Bloodlust to trigger. And if it does, that's going to be nice, and this is going to start to snowball. Um, but still... You know, just to have the the chance of, of doing a bloodlust and getting boosted makes this card pretty much worth it. Plus, you know, it's got you know, okay hit points for, for three mana and a magic damage. Um, the Scion. So this is an epic. So, yep, you definitely want to get this to max silver to get that second attack. Only one hit point. So, you know, you do have to worry about poison. But, like I said, there's hardly any poison in the game. The only time you would have to worry about it is if you're going up against um, the underboss, but the underboss would have to know exactly where this card is to poison it right away. So I guess the one health is not that big of a deal because it does have void armor. But if you come up against a shatter, you know, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, so we did the Soothsayer, Shock Trooper. We already went over um, Captain Fellblade. Darg. Okay, so Darg is another one of your weapons trainers. So he has weapons training and swiftness. If you can get him to max silver, wow, he's got triage on top of it. So another one of those things where it's a great card just to have a single copy of it. Uh, but he's going for almost 20 bucks. So if you can't afford it, you know, you know, it does hurt. But you do have the option. Um, later on, we'll go through the neutral. You can get uh, magic weapon training a lot cheaper with uh, Moxie and Rebel. Not nearly as strong as Darg, but at least it does give you that option. So overall, I would say um, water is very strong. Very strong melee tank, extremely strong with um, the range damage. You've got Shock Trooper, you've got Fellblade for some more magic damage hitting the back. You've got your healer and your cleanse. You've got your one card that has Bloodlust. You've got your weapons trainer. So overall, I would say water all around is probably the strongest so far. Go to the no attack. So it has your single no attack card. Once again, at level five, it will get, um, so it has magic reflect and then it'll get a slow. So another card that you definitely want to get to, uh, to level five. But yeah, so far water looks like it is the splinter. Uh, let's just do Dragon next. So Dragon, of course, has the fewest cards, you know, being Dragon, and most of them are epic and legendary. But do you guys know how good the Forger is? You know, especially if you get this thing maxed, five mana, you're doing five damage, four speed, opportunity, and scavenge. That thing is just such a killer. But even, even it's silver. I mean, okay, yep, you're doing two. But the Scavage, the Opportunity, you know, very, very strong card. You guys are earning this card now. Get it as high as you can. Uh, so what other cards do we have here? So let's look at Dragon for Melee. Only have the three. So you got the Forager. You got Solace and Kai. I'm not super familiar with this card, but for four mana for a Dragon card is pretty low. Usually they're very expensive. Um... It looks like it kind of should be a support card. It's not doing hardly any damage. It does have good health. It's got Return Fire and Magic Reflect. So is there something I'm missing? Or I don't really know why you would want this card. I mean, if it's Little League, yes, this would be a nice Little League tank, I guess. But I don't know. Not sure about that card. Kai, 
Uh, with Enfeeble, I really like Enfeeble and Reach from that second position. You guys know, very good card. But if it's a little bit too pricey for you, it's not, you know, not a must-have card if you're on a limited budget. If you can get it to silver level, though, and get that ambush, that is pretty cool. Let's look at range for dragons. You only have the two. You have the hatchling. So this is an epic. So if you can get this maxed for silver, um, you're going to be doing three range damage. Definitely true strike. So you are going to hit. The one speed with dodge is interesting because dodge gives you, uh, you know, the 25% chance to miss. And I guess it's good in reverse speed because it's got a reverse speed of one, but then it has dodge on top of it. So that might actually be very good. So good, good range card there. And then Sorenth is one of the few cards that has taunt. No, unfortunately, it's a legendary. It is a reward card, so we do have a chance of earning it. So hopefully you guys can get one. Uh, four range damage. Has dodge again with the, the low speed, which is an interesting combination. You know, very good hit points and that taunt. So if you're looking to build a taunt team or you need a taunt monster, you know, Sorrentha is going to be one of your few choices. And then finally for dragon, let's look at magic. Night Reaper. I love Night Reaper. This card is so good. The reward cards overall, they did just a great job with them. I think the reward cards, honestly, are very, very strong and much stronger than Rebellion Core. Uh, Night Reaper, just huge, huge hit points. That three magic damage at silver. Reflection Shield, uh, Wing Break, so it does plus two damage against flying, and it has flying itself. Definitely a must-have card. You guys are earning it now. If you're not focused on epics, get focused on epics and get this thing leveled up. Uh, Red Worm Dragon. Shout out to Bronze Dragon. Why are there all these dragons and there's not a Bronze Dragon? Okay, Nate and team, if you are listening, make a Bronze Dragon card, okay? Make a Bronze Dragon card and make it cool. And I know somebody that's going to buy a Max Gold Foil copy, so just saying. Okay, Red Worm Dragon. So this one has immunity and flying, so very nice combination. So it covers the... Poison rule set covers the uh, Earthquake rule set. You know, nine mana is kind of what you expect for a dragon. You expect them to be high cost, very high uh, hit points and armor, decent speed, two magic damage. Overall, decent dragon card. Not super overpowered, but, you know, like I said, it's nice to have cards that cover a couple specific rule sets. And then Rage is just an absolute beast. And he is at level two, another option for uh, magic... Uh, weapons training so for some reason you can't get dark you know if you somehow are lucky and have a level two rage you've got that covered and the weapons training will raise it uh, to three on the other two uh, monsters to either side of it so i think that is it for dragon because i don't think dragon has no attack cards oh yeah they do they have rune seer savaya so what does savaya have so she is another one that you could actually put uh, weapons training on So, one of the things she gives is cleanse. Not a whole lot of uh, monsters with cleanse. And I think you guys may have noticed by now, have we seen anything with protect? This might be the first monster that we see that gives um, all units plus two armor. So, if you can just get a single copy of the Rune Seer, you know, four mana is, is pretty low. Nice support card. Being able to give protect, and you can put it next to a weapons trainer. So overall for Dragon, I think they did a good job with Dragon. I think pretty well balanced. You know, you've got some really nice uh, magic damage cards. You've got a great opportunity monster. You've got a taunt. You know, you've got um, a decent ranged card. So there's always few Dragon cards, but I think the ones that they have in here are pretty good. You know, other than Solace, which I don't think is exceptional. Um, you know, I think they did a good job with Dragon. Let's go to Earth. So let's look at Melee for Earth. And you're looking at this and you're going, that's it? Just five cards? Yep, that's it. Only five melee cards for Earth. But you got some very good cards. So for your tank, you've got Endless Ape or Lyosaurus. So Lyosaurus to me is the new Cursed Wentico. Um, looking at this thing, Max Silver. So it has Thorns. Got three damage. Um, unlike uh, the Cursed card, he has armor and uh, has a lot of it. So I think this is a very strong tank uh, for Earth. Endless Ape. 
So you don't need to get him to level 5, even if you only get him to like level 2, you're going to do okay. Um, high cost, but you know that scavenge is very nice. There's not a lot of tanks that have scavenge. Uh, the Huntress card that we're earning right now is fantastic. I love this card. It covers just so many things. Um, covers Little League, has flying, actually has snare to remove flying. Um, very good speed, decent damage for silver level. You know, kind of low health, but the ability to charge, you can kind of hide this in the third or fourth position. Um, just, just a very nice card. I mean, for a common, it's a very good common. We went over those. Um, Kror. So this is your weapons training card. So if you get him to level 3, which is max silver, you pick up that second attack. Um, he gives weapons training, so flank, so you put him in the front, and something behind him can gain reach. We'll go through that shortly, and the blade. Um, I think Bronze Dragon knows how powerful this card is. I've heard him talk about it, and it is. And this card is so... I am so bullish on a card I'm going to tell you about in a minute because of uh, the melee cards in Earth. Thandorian Blade... Okay, let's get him. Max Silver, he's doing two melee damage, opportunity, execute, look out. You know, he's a guy you put towards the back that's just going to wreck things. And he's going to wreck things even more. When you combine him with under boss Fabino and give him plus two melee. Oh, look at that. You can give two things plus two attack. Well, let's see. What would I give plus two attack to for Earth? Let's say I would put uh, Lys Ly Lysoros in the front. So he's doing four damage with thorns. And then I'll put him towards the back. And he's doing four opportunity damage with execute. So this is another reason why some of the summoners that people are kind of like sleeping on, I think, are going to be very, very good. If you guys don't have Underboss Fabino and you plan on playing Earth, get him to, to level 5, get him max silver um, as quick as you can because I think he's going to be hitting a dollar or more per BCX in the not too distant future. And if I keep seeing him as cheap as he is, I'm doing another buyout uh, video and I am buying out just that card. Just saying. Okay, for ranged, look at this. So ranged, I think Earth is very strong. Um, you've got the Trickster, who's got um, the close range so he can attack from the front. Get him to level 5. He gets Snare. Um, I wouldn't worry about putting him in the front. Just having you know a Little League card does a little bit of damage with Snare. He's going to be a nice little annoying monster. Not super powered, but I mean, for a common, he is what he is. The Sniper is nice. Okay, so he's a rare, so get him to level 4. You definitely want to get him to 4 to pick up that 3 attack. So now he's doing 3 snipe damage with a cripple, and you can't target him. So I really like the sniper. He he really is. Good card. Uh, the Swell Spore Beast, not a whole lot of cards with True Strike. And he is a rare, so he can get to level 4. Max Silver, he picks up an Affliction. So very slow, but of course... In reverse speed, this guy's awesome. Four damage with true strike and affliction, you know, and high armor too. Don't overlook that. So very solid card there as well. I love the legionary. I'm currently using the legionary a lot because I have him at level three, and he has thorn. So I put him in the back when I'm afraid I'm going to come up against Catrelba, and he just wrecks Catrelba. She just runs into that armor and that health, that thorns, and she's done. So. This guy's also great in ranged only with the close range. You can use him in a tank even if it's no melee. Put him in the front. If you do go up against a team that's heavy magic, usually that's going to be bad. But now with that void, this is just overall a great card. You can put him in the front, put him in the back. Very versatile. You know, eight mana is kind of expensive, but he's a great card for a rare. Um, Seth Toledo. Seth Toledo is a... Strange combination of ranged and healing, I guess. And if you get this to level 3, you really only need it at level 2 for the lookout. So, you know, put this in the back like you would any of your archery units, and then it 
protects you a little bit from that sneaker opportunity damage, and it does have a tank heal. So good card there. And then finally, the Jinx is another archery sniper legendary card. So overall, Earth, you know, very solid, I would say, in archery. Magic wise, you've got huge damage with Lord Thendalore. Let's just start at the beginning, though. Look at the Mystic. So Little League. It's a common. You can get it to five. You can get that Void. So in Magic only, this guy is going to be so good. And then Lookout. A very solid card. The Wild Elf. Two Magic damage right off the bat is huge. Um, really only need one copy. I mean, if you want to get this to level five, you're gaining a speed and a couple health. So at least, you know, at least get a copy of it, but don't worry about getting it to max silver. I don't think that's that important. Uh, the Nymph with the immunity, you know, it's a great card to have. You know, of course, in the Poison Rule sets, um, can get Snare, so that can help as well. Decent card, I mean, for three mana, very nice. The Nomad gets Strengthen at max silver. Once again, a nice Little League card with magic damage. So you can see... You can build a very good Little League uh, magic damage team um, with with Earth. You don't have Obsidian, unfortunately, to, to boost all these up, but very nice for what you have. Zabajan, so he is a legendary. Yeah, I think I would only just get a copy of him. So he's good in, I guess, uh, magic only. Put him in the front as your tank, but not a necessary card. Lord Thanalor, try to remember what you get for your ability. So he ends up getting Scavage. If you get him to gold level, he does get Rust. Another rare ability in Modern. Not a lot of things with Rust. Uh, three magic damage. Yeah, if you can afford one copy of him, definitely get him. But like I said, if you're on a limited budget, you know, guys, we're going to focus mostly on the commons and the rare. So uh, you always want the legendaries, but, you know, it's one of those things, like I said, if you can afford it, great. If not, you can still get um, some very good cards in the common and rare slot. And your no attack card is the puffer, which is awesome, because at level 5 it gets a silence, and then eventually it will get poison. And it's like, well, what good does poison do? It doesn't attack. Of course, you pair it with a weapon trainer. But for this video, where we're looking at max silver. Yes, it's nice to have. Just a little two-mana guy that has Corrosive Ward and Silence. So overall, I would say Earth is very well-rounded as well. And very, very strong as far as melee when you combine them with uh, Underboss Fabino. Okay, so the final main splinter is Life. So let's look at Life and look at melee. And I think Life pretty much got the shaft when it comes to melee. Um... As you can see, there are no sneak cards, um, two opportunity cards. There is no uh, reach monster, as you have in the other splinters. Uh, your main tanks are, for Little League, the Yak could be your Little League tank. If you get him to max silver, decent amount of health, but he does not have shield, um, does not have void, none of that. So okay at best uh, the fighter looks like he might be your main tank so he is a rare so you can get him to level four max silver so he does have void armor so if you're coming up against magic you know you do have 13 total health i guess for that he's not doing a lot of damage he's decent at three speed but not super fast and he's got flank behind him so he's almost saying hey i'm not that good can somebody help me out and there is a card that will really make him a lot more viable. I think you guys know what card I'm talking about. His initials are MW. Uh, the Leopard. So the Leopard is a rare, once again, level 4. He also gets Void Armor. He does have Retaliate. Decent attack at 3, but very low health at 5. So okay at best. So your main tank is going to be Barra. But once again, it's a legendary, so can you afford just to get one copy of it? If you can, I would get one copy. If you can get three copies, this is your tank. You know, don't worry about the damage. Six armor, 12 health, which I think is the highest we've seen, with shield, 
and with armored strike. So it's going to uh, attack with its melee and then its armor. So Barra is awesome, but once again, if you can't afford it, you know, then your other choices are going to be the fighter or the leopard. And then Frigid Wolf is just a nice little melee attack from any position, but since it's only one mana, he's only going to be doing one damage at the silver level. Uh, the Regulator, so he's got Opportunity. So if you only have a single copy of him, that's fine, because at level 4, all you're gaining is one more armor and a couple of health. So to save yourself a lot of money, just get one at level 1, just for that Opportunity and True Strike. Uh, and Olivia the Brook, which is a super fun card to play because of the Mimic. Uh, but overall, I don't think it's a card that you can really depend on. You can't depend on this as being a tank. You can't use it in Little League. Um, you're kind of relying on what um, abilities your opponent has. Uh, back to basics, are you really going to play this card? So Olivia is very, very niche and not a card that I would uh, go out of my way to say is an awesome card in the new modern. So... Melee-wise, I think life is extremely weak. Um, it does have an awesome tank in Barra and one of the few taunt monsters, but it has no reach and it has no sneak and just very, very limited tank choices. So, so far I would say life is the weakest when it comes to melee. Does it get any better with ranged? Yeah, it does get better with ranged. So that is a plus. So you have the demon. So if you get him to level five, um, even right at level 1, you're doing 3 damage with Snipe. The Cleanse is always nice and very high health. So he is decent there for a common. Uh, the Bandit, another Snipe card, so heavy on the Snipes. Um, but you're not going to gain that additional damage until you get him to gold. So you're only going to be doing 2 damage. If you only get 1 or 2 copy or get him to level 1 or 2, that's probably fine. The Bolter, great card with the double attack and um, headwind. So, of course, you can use this in archery only, and then you can throw in uh, nerfing your opponent's archery. So, this is a great card to have. Fits in a lot of different rule sets. Um, if you get it to level 3, which isn't even max silver, get it to level 3 to get that second archery damage. Oh, here's another thing I want to point out to you guys. If you get him to level 6, he's one of, I believe, only two cards that have repair in Modern uh, as far as the core set and reward cards go. Now, Grimbarden Smith and um, Mantaroth will have repair, but those are very expensive promo cards at very high level. So, you know, you do have to get this to gold level to use it, so there's just not a lot of repair. Uh, Harpy, Little League card. I think it's just a nice little card. It's not fantastic. Um... If you want just one copy of it, you know, you're just, just a filler card for the most part. Um, there's not a lot of taunts, so I don't really know why you'd want Scattershot. So, I mean, it's okay, but pretty much it's just a filler, nothing fantastic. Commander Goth, on the other hand, is very, very nice. Um, extremely high armor, health, uh, three damage, good speed with dodge. So you can even throw him in the front for ranged only. Um, if it's not ranged only, you know, he does have an uh, Inspire at level 2. And Gallicus. Maxed out, this guy is just awesome. I mean, Taunt, Shield, Strengthen, and the Headwinds. Uh, fantastic, but if we're just concentrating on Silver and Below, you know, if you have a Taunt and a Shield, you know, it's nice to have. Little League, hopefully you guys have earned one. So overall, life uh, better in range than it is in uh, melee, definitely. Um, not super overpowered in range, but at least somewhat decent. You know, you have a couple Little League cards and a couple higher mana ones, but there are splinters that have better ranged. Hint, hint, water. And then finally, magic. Okay, magic might be where uh, life shines. So you've got the Archer, Max Silver. Um, he's still only doing one damage. He doesn't get that second damage till you hit gold. So you probably only need one copy of him. So you're going to be doing snipe and just that lookout is nice to have. Might be a little bit much for five mana. Uh, the magician, of course, is going to be your healer. If you can get it to level five, which you guys should probably have no problem doing, um, it picks up shield. But with it being in the back, maybe this is not super important, but it is nice to have. 
uh, a healer that has a decent amount of hit points and shield and actually does do a point of damage. So very good card. And of course, yes, this is your tank heal. Uh, Johnny Rebel, card we can earn right now. Um, only has two magic damage, doesn't pick up the third, of course, until gold. If you just have a single copy, that is fine, just to have the uh, the flank and then inspire. The Bolter, we already talked about, Harbinger of Chaos. If you get that to max silver, you are looking at immunity, which is great to have, and three magic damage. There are not very many cards that are doing three or more magic damage, so this is a very powerful card, especially with the Divine Shield. And we talked about Olivia the Brook. So overall, I would say um, life might be the weakest of the splinters. Um, very weak in melee, decent in um, ranged, and a little bit better in magic damage. And then finally, let's look at the no attack cards. It does have two. The Explorer right now. And hey, look at that. Protect. So as you guys have seen, there are almost no cards with Protect. So it's very nice that we have a reward card that gives Protect right off the bat. And eventually, if you get it to 5 for max silver, it does pick up Armored Strike. So definitely, you guys are earning this card. Get it to at least level 5. And then the Forester, you also want to get to level 5. Um, because besides having Return Fire, which is nice, um, it does pick up Triage. So I don't think you guys have seen the Triage ability very much. So <clears throat> nice to see that. Okay, and then wrapping this up is finally neutral so these are all of your neutral cards so let's break these down by attack type so for melee uh the fighter is going to be a must-have card for a couple of reasons and those reasons are as you saw with life life is very weak when it comes to having a main tank as is death so if you can throw in this guy yes he is very expensive but you've got finally a tank for any splinter and you're going to be able to give him shield and corrosive ward so this is very, very key to, um, for any splinter. So if you're playing water, you really probably don't, or earth, you don't have to worry about that. But for some of the other splinters, you're really going to want to have the fighter. Uh, palace, let's talk about next. Um, what, life didn't have a reach monster? And there's some other splinters that could use a better reach monster. So um, if you get just a single copy of him, that's fine. You know, if you want to get Lookout, that's great. But with him being in the second position, I don't really think that's going to help. You know, Lookout, I think you have to have this more in the fourth or fifth position. So just get a single copy of Palace and you should be good. He'll cover the Earthquake rule set and you'll be doing three damage from uh, reach position. Uh, the Anarchist is another nice card to have that fills in Splinters that don't have a whole lot of sneak or opportunity. He's not as good as Deep Lurker, but if you get him... Well, even at level four, he's just a little bit faster. So just get a single copy of him uh, to be able to have a nice opportunity monster doing two points of damage. Halfling Refugee, super overpowered. You guys know this. Uh, Max Silver, he does get pick up that heal. Get him to level three to get that heal. Even if he can't attack, you're just going to have an awesome blocker. You know, melee can attack from anywhere. One mana. The, the card is just so OP. So definitely get that card to to level three if you guys can and venka venka is an absolute beast we all know we've we've lost many many games to venka so we know how good this card is but once again it's a very expensive card if you guys can't afford it that's completely understandable i can't afford it either uh looking at ranged um chaos lackey don't overlook this card simply because of dispel um not a lot of dispel in this set so having a neutral card with dispel Playable in Little League is very, very nice. It is a common. If you get him to level 5, you also get a True Strike, which I don't know if it's that important because he's only doing one point of damage. You know, maybe that one point of damage will make the difference, but to me, the main thing is you've got, you know, a Little League monster you can throw in there with a Dispel. Uh, the Ranger is one of only a couple cards that have um, Double Strike. The other one was ranged as well, and as you can see, it's only one point of damage unless you get it to the higher, higher levels. So um, just having a single copy of this is nice. If you can get it to level five and get that one piece of armor and you know some more health, that's great. But just get one card to just have it to be able to play with it. Uh, the Conscript is the card we are earning currently. Um, the nice thing about this is as it levels up, it gains more and more health. So you just put this in your back line. Um, it attacks the back line and then also it'll 
uh, protect you a little bit with uh, doing that thorns damage. Uh, the bow dog, another little league card. Get him to level four, just gives him, well, get him to level three to get that second attack. So very, very weak with uh, um, only two health, but he's doing two scatter shot damage and ambush. So he's going to randomly hit something before it starts and then randomly hit something again. So he could be an interesting card and, and for the cost for four mana, you know, decent card. Uh, Porcupine attacks from the front, but of course with three health, do you want to put him in the front? Epic, um, you could get thorns. So to me, card, if you don't, if you skip this card, I don't think you're missing out on a whole lot. So Porcupine is not that important, I don't think. Uh, Chaos Battle Mage. So this one will get Rebirth, which is nice, but it's really nice if you can max it out and get Redemption. Because then it dies, does Redemption, gets Reborn. When it dies again, it does a second Redemption. But level 2, the 3 uh, damage with Piercing is nice. But once again, I don't think this is a must-have card. Um, if, you, if you can afford one, great. Um, if you've earned one, fantastic, but don't go out of your way to buy it. And let's see, finally we've got the magic cards. Must-have card, Moxie and Rebel. I'll just say that, you know, if there's... I, I would put it in my top five cards for uh, Rebellion. This is a card you want to have. It's extremely affordable. It's Little League, it's neutral, it's weapons training, and it gives you magic damage. And it just pairs with so many cards. There are so many no attack cards in, in all the different splinters. This card is just must have. If you get it to max uh, silver and get the camouflage, that's nice. But I think as of the recording of this video, this thing's pushing two bucks. I'm thinking it's going to be $4 plus by next March. So if you don't have at least one copy, get one copy now. Be glad you did. If later on you can afford to level it up, great. But definitely get one copy of that card. Spend the two bucks and get it. Uh, the Elder, fantastic when this card is maxed out, but if we're just looking at um, silver level, it's still great. Being able to, you know, just ping away, neutral, you can put it anywhere, you know, Divine Shield. So for some reason there is a scatter shot and somehow hits it, even though it's camouflage, it's gonna, that Divine Shield will kick in. So just a very nice little support card. Uh, Chaos card is another card we're earning currently. Um, at gold, it does get that second attack, but even with one magic damage, it's very nice to have uh, with the scatter shot and the snare. And then Nalara. I'm not super familiar with this card. Okay, so it's another card that has silence. Um, magic only rule set, so this would be a good tank to have. And then I think the very last thing to look at is the no attack cards. And look at that, you got one no attack card, and I think everybody knows how good this card is and how annoying it is. He's just a big old tank that does nothing but sit there, and as you level him up, he gets more armor and more health, till he gets eventually 10 armor and 17 health. So once again, pair this guy with Moxie and Rebel, any weapons training card, fantastic. Just get one copy, he's only 18 cents. Um, so overall impressions of the set, I would say it's nowhere near as powerful as Chaos Legion. It does have some interesting cards. Um, as far as melee goes, I would say Water and Earth are the clear winners. Ranged, I would say definitely Water, maybe Earth. Um, for Magic, I would say Death and Life are, are pretty good for Magic as well. Um, and that's it, guys. I know this has been a long video. It's probably the longest video I've ever done, but you know, wanted to go in-depth. Um, cover the cards and just kind of talk about, um, you know, what splinters have what strengths and what weaknesses. So what I'm looking for in Conclave Arcana, I think, is I'm looking for some better uh, melee cards for life. Um, interested to see if they have summoners that actually do give benefits for the entire team. Are we going to go back to like plus one melee, plus one magic, that type of thing? I'm just curious to see what rarity those summoners are. But hope this kind of deep dive helps you out, helps you kind of... Um, see where the trends are going to lie as far as building teams going forward. You know, with not a lot of repair or protect, no martyr anymore, no giant killer. You know, how is this going to affect your strategies moving forward? So hopefully I gave you 
Um, a lot to think about and just kind of emphasize again, I don't think you need to spend a ton on Rebellion. I think if you just concentrate on getting cards to silver level, you can get a lot of the good abilities, especially from these two mana cost cards that are really going to help your entire team. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, are you buying Rebellion? Are you going to uh, purchase any to get to a certain level? Are you done with Rebellion and simply going to go for a Conclave or Kamina? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys again soon. So, as always, stay the course, keep on forging, and have fun. And I'm going to go take a drink. I think my voice is giving out. Take care. Oh, so, what, what do you think? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was a long video. Oh, man. What am I... Oh. You really think they did? You think they posted more? Well, they've got a few. Yeah, there's a few that are left that are under five. What? Oh, not the summoners? Which ones? Oh, the units? You you think these are two? Oh, wait. So, are you saying another buyout of which ones? No, I'm not going to post that. I don't want anybody to know about that.